The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. North Broward Prep takes on Atlantic High tonight on School Duel. Welcome to the 10th anniversary season of School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. The ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and South Florida Chick-fil-A. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now, as you see, this opening round game features North Broward Preparatory School versus Atlantic High School in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the second round. So let's hear it for our two competitors. Yes. And one more thing before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. All right, very excited, so let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike, and in this round, it's school versus school. Each question is worth 10 points, and any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with remedies. A new drug called AR-101 may allow people allergic to this to tolerate small amounts of it without... Yes, Raj? Peanuts. Very good. <laughs> All right, we're off. Mythology. In myth, they lost a battle to the Olympians and were banished to Tartarus as a result. Raj? The Titans. Yes, very good. <laughs> Combinations. Give the two words combined to make the word... Jazzercise. Grant. Jazz and exercise. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, linguistics. Today, few people read and write it, and even fewer speak it. And yet, Ryan? Latin. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, jewelry. Thor had one on which he made oaths. What piece of jewelry in Middle Earth was worn by both Sauron and carried by Frodo Baggins? Yes, Grant? Frodo ring. Very good. Okay, biomes. Most carbon stored above ground and on land is found in what biome that contains lots of trees? Yes, Grant. The troposphere. Incorrect. Atlantic. Raj. Rainforest. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialty. Here, our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. It can cause damage when it hits your crop or the roof of your house or car. Yes, Raj? Hail. Yes, very good. And here's a little tidbit about hail. The average velocity of a falling hailstone is approximately 106 miles per hour, and dangerous hail events outpace tornadoes five to one. Next question deals with games. Name the board game whose players in the millennial version collect experience points. Raj? Monopoly. Yes, very good. Okay, terms. In 1872, a Thomas Hardy magazine story ended with the main character in a tough spot. What term came to describe any interruption in a story that tries to get the reader to read the next installment? Yes, Tucker. Cliffhanger. Yes, very good. All right, Fast Capital. What is the largest city and capital of Austria? Raj. Vienna. Yes, very good. <laughs> Television. In which HGTV show must a couple decide whether to move to a house David the realtor has found? Raj. Love it or list it. Yes, very good. Okay, elections. 
This county received scrutiny after the 2018 election. Name this Florida county, Grant. Uh, Broward. Yes, very good. Yeah. All right, apps, give the three word name of the app whose game begins with the title character as a kitten and lets him grow into adulthood. Yes, Tucker. Tom. Atlantic. It's my talking Tom. Verbs, the verbs seek, buy, bring, fight, and think all have irregular past participles that end with what five letter sequence? Raj. O-U-G-H-T. Very good. Oh, there's my horn. That means the end of the first strike round. We do have Atlantic High leading. They have 80 points. North Bar Prep has 50 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Hi, this is Tucker Stores from Suncoast Community High School. I was on School Duel back in 2016, and I'm here at Fort Canaveral, just outside of Kennedy Space Center. And right over there, SpaceX does their operations of recovering their Falcon 9 rockets. That's what I would like to keep working on, and that's why I'm going to Florida Polytechnic University. Thanks. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. ended with Atlantic High leading. They have 80 points. North Briar Prep has 50 points. Now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. I'm Dylan. I'm a senior and I'm team captain. Rep the prep. I'm Ryan. I'm a junior and rep the prep. I'm Tucker. I'm a senior and rep the prep. I'm Grant, I'm a senior, and rep the prep. I'm Matthew, I'm a sophomore, and rep the prep. I'm Olivia, I'm a sophomore, rep the prep. Ryan, uh, what are you most looking forward to about school duel? Pressing the buzzer. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is pretty good. Ready to go? Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go. Dub season. <laughs> Eagles are ready to soar. Wrap the wrap. Hey guys, I'm Raj. I'm a junior and I'm team captain. Go Eagles. Hey guys, I'm Tony. I'm a junior. Go Eagles. I'm Visme. I'm a junior. Go Eagles. Hi, I'm Sorb. I'm a junior. Go Eagles. Hi guys, what's my talk show? Um, First question for Raj here. What's your favorite TikTok star? Do you have one? Uh, it's just Raj, that's me. You can follow me on TikTok. Right, guys, just, we're here at School Duel. You already know the vibes, Atlantic High School. Yeah, go Eagles, man. <laughs> Eagles ready. Talons out. And let's hear it from both schools. 
Okay, now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the Joust presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a toss-up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to Joust. Our first two contestants are Dylan and Raj. Come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What French word is yelled by an audience to a performer indicating a request for additional? Yes, Raj? Encore. Yes, very good. <laughs> All right, Atlantic, the following bonus questions deal with theater. Bonus question number one. What part of the stage is at the opposite corner from downstage left? Raj. Upstage right. Yes, very good. Bonus question number two. What is the farm sounding slang phrase for an audition open to all comers? Raj? Open audition. Incorrect, it's a cattle call. Bonus question number three. What is the most common name of the program handed out in theaters identifying the cast and production members for the audience? Raj? The directory. Incorrect, it's the playbill. All right, Grant and Visme, come on down. It's your turn to joust. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What seventh planet from the sun has an element named after it? Yes, Grant? Uh, Uranus. Yes, very good. We're now with North Briar Prep, and the following bonus questions all deal with Uranus. Bonus question number one. Jupiter and Saturn are often called gas giants. Uranus is called one of these giants instead because of the very cold water both on its surface and inside it. Yes, Tucker? Ice. Very good. <laughs> Bonus question number two. When seen on NASA's website, Uranus has this color caused by gas in its atmosphere. Grant? Uh, blue. Yes, very good. <laughs> Bonus question number three. That color comes from this gas with chemical formula CH4. Yes, Tucker. Methane. Yes, very good. Yeah. All right, Ryan and Sarah, come on down. It's your turn to shout. And here's your toss up question worth 10 points. Once an alter ego of Spider Man, it is a symbiote that must bond with a human. Yes, Sarah? Venom. Very good. Woo. All right, Atlantic. Here we go. The following bonus questions all deal with Venom. Bonus question number one. Name the British actor who plays the character, Tony. Tom Hardy. Yes, very good. Yeah. Bonus question number two. Venom has two weaknesses, high-pitched noises and this. Raj. Fire. Yes, very good. Yeah. Bonus question number three. He plays Cletus in the Venom movie, played Haymitch in Hunger Games, and was Tony? Oh, we're looking for Woody Harrelson. All right, my last two to Jouster, Tucker and Tony. Come on down, gentlemen. Here's your topic question worth 10 points. Name the U.S. president who served only a few months of his second term when an anarchist, yes, Tony? Harrison. Incorrect. Tucker, I'll finish the question. Name the U.S. president who served only a few months of his second term when an anarchist shot and killed him in 1901 in Buffalo, New York. Yes, Tucker. That's William McKinley. Don't go anywhere, gentlemen. I have another question for you. After McKinley passed away, this man became president. Name this man who served two terms and has his face sculpted in Mount Rushmore. All right, that would be Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, well, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We do have Atlantic High leading. They have 130 points. North Broward Prep has 90 points. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages.
It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. of School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now today's game has North Broward Preparatory School competing against Atlantic High School. Currently, Atlantic High School is leading. They have 130 points. North Broward Prep has 90 points. It is now time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Now, since North Broward Prep is trailing, they get to go first while Atlantic High waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Now, today's category is starts with you. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter U. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. All right, here comes rapid action. Starts with you, so let's cue music and let's begin. An unattractive thing like Anderson's duckling. Grant. Ugly. This function is control Z in Microsoft Word. Dylan. Undo. The material covering a couch or love seat. Dylan. Upholstery. Saturday night live sketch weekend blank. Grant. Update. An open sore in the stomach caused by a bacterial. Yes, Grant. Ulcer. Airline that says fly the friendly. Yes, United. Dylan. United. A small homeless child who lives on the street. Grant. Virgin. 2019 computer animated film based on the plush toys of the same name. Ugly dolls. Felix's last name in The Odd Couple the black female character in the original Star Trek series. Grant. Lieutenant Uhura. All right, good job, North Broward Prep. We got through all of your questions. Great job, let's hear it for North Broward Prep. All right, and now with a little TV magic, let's bring in Atlantic High. And welcome back, Atlantic High. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with you. And in this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter U. 
Each question is worth 10 points, and remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and begin. An unattractive thing like Anderson's duckling. This is me. Ugly. This function is control Z in Microsoft Word. Raj. Undo. The material covering a couch or love seat. Saturday Night Live sketch, weekend blank. Fizz me. Update. An open sore in the stomach caused by a bacterial infection. Raj. Ulcer. Airline that says, fly the friendly skies. Raj. United. A small homeless child who lives on the street. 2019 computer animated film based on the plush toys. Yes, Raj? Oh, uh, up. Felix's last name in The Odd Couple. The black female character in the original Star Trek series. All right, there's my horn and that means the end of the rapid action round. The teams only both missed one question, which is Felix's last name and the odd couple is Unger. All right, guys, we currently have a tie game. Both teams have 180 points, but let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school moves on to the second round of School Duel. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. tied at 180 points each. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is the last round. The schools go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time these questions are now worth 20 points each. Now just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. Now this is for a spot in the second round. It is time for the final showdown. <laughs> First question deals with songs. What 1970s song was also the title of the recent movie about the life and career of Elton John? Yes, Tucker? Rocket Man. Fast math. In algebra, what is 4xy times 3z? Yes, Vizme? 12xyz. Foods. The Caspian Sea is the world's most common area to obtain what black paste made from? Yes, Ryan? Tapenade. Incorrect, Atlantic, I'll finish the question. What black paste made from sturgeon fish eggs and put on expensive crackers? This may. Caviar. Multiple meanings. As a verb, it means to sing someone else's hit song yourself. And Raj? Cover. Spanish. What part of your body is represented by the Spanish word oreja? Yes, uh, Grant. Ears. Theme parks. What Disney Orlando theme park contains Pandora? The world of, yes, Raj? Animal Kingdom. College football. What Colorado college's football team plays in the Mountain West Conference, but has, yes, Grant? Uh, uh, Colorado State. 
and correct Atlantic. I'll finish the question. What Colorado College's football team plays in the Mountain West Conference but has two games each year against Army and Navy to try and win the Commander-in-Chief trophy? Vizme. Air Force. TV. Name the premium cable TV channel whose original series include Shameless, Billions, and Homeland. Grant? Uh, HBO. Incorrect, Atlantic. AMC. Incorrect, it's Showtime. Elements. Name the element whose liquid version boils at about negative 200 Celsius. That is, yes, Grant? Helium. Incorrect, Atlantic. I can finish the question. Name the element whose liquid version boils at about negative 200 Celsius. That is gaseous at room temperature and that makes up most of the air we breathe. Yes, Vizme. Nitrogen. Astronauts. Years before Neil Armstrong, what astronaut was the first American? Dylan? Don Glenn. I'll finish the question. Astronauts. Years before Neil Armstrong, what astronaut was the first American in space? Atlantic? That would be Alan Shepard. State alphabet. On an alphabetical list of U.S. states, which is next after New Mexico? Raj. Nevada. Incorrect. North Briar Prep. The answer is New York. Art. Artists often mix their colors together on what wooden board? Grant? The palette. Heat. In which method of heat transfer do you touch a hot stove? Tony? Conduction. Companies. Identify the major company that makes Cocoa Puffs, Wheaties, and Cheerios cereal. Raj? Kellogg's. Incorrect. North Broward Prep. All in box. Yes, Tucker? General Mills. Phases. It has two phases that end with the creation of four haploid daughter cells. Name this process of cell division, often confused with, yes, Grant? Uh, splitting. Incorrect. Name this process of cell division, often confused with mitosis. Raj. Meiosis. Distances. Oh, there's my buzzer, and that sound brings an end to this first round. School rule game as Atlantic High pulls away from the tie. They are ending with a score of 340 points. North Briar Prep is ending with a score of 260 points. Now, Atlantic High, this win is putting you into the second round. So great job. <laughs> and of course, great job to everyone here today. Now, it also brings an end to the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge. And today's winner is, where's my drum roll? Raj from Atlantic. <laughs> Congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. And at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about schools involved and watch past shows. And remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. Most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Cooper City High takes on Coral Springs High in another great opening round match. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.